Why would I even buy the shoulder reliever? Well, here's reason number one. That hurts right there, which also means this movement here isn't that comfortable. Reason number two, when I do a Cuban press, that's not the most comfortable, and that doesn't feel very good either. So, when that's uncomfortable, you want something that's gonna fix it. One of the first things you see when you get the shoulder reliever is this. You wrap this around your wrist and this here on your leg. The idea being that when you sleep, it will hold your shoulder down. They don't want your shoulder coming up like this. They're trying to encourage as much blood flow as possible when you sleep. But there's a slight problem. I don't sleep on my back. So I can sleep on my back for a little while. But sooner or later, I end up rolling over and bending my knees and then this does nothing. And personally, I like to sleep with my right arm up here, something like this. So I would do it for a while, but by two or three in the morning, I'd wake up and like, I can't fall back asleep because I'm sleeping on my back. And so I'd have to take it off. So they even say in one of their videos, that's okay if you only have it on half the night, but it's a bit annoying. It didn't always work for me. And quite frankly, there were some nights where I didn't even bother to put it on. And what comes in this case here, which it's got the four balls. As you saw from the original intro to this, you spin it in four different ways. Way number one is like that. Way number two at about a 45 degree angle. Way number three, 90 degrees. And there's even a fourth one where you bend over and you just have to make sure you're not hitting your leg with this. And I even came up with a fifth one where I did it like this over the top of my head. I did the program. The program has you start with the smallest ball for 10 days, and you go to the bigger ball for 10 days, ball number three for 10 days, and finally ball number four for 10 days. At the end of doing all that, I still have shoulder pain. All right guys, so Chris here, post editing. I got to the point where everything you've seen up to this video, I've just been waiting because I sent the shoulder reliever back and I'm waiting to see if I would get my money back and Congratulations, I did. They refunded my whole $168. So I'd recommend giving it a try because you get your money back. Now the question is, why did it not work for me? Here's my best guess, is the various actions of spinning a ball 30 times this way, 30 times this way, and doing it at a 45 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, and then even leaning over, just really didn't address the actual issue. A long time ago, I was Really? I'm doing something here, Kat. You want it? So, long time ago, <laughs> one of my shoulders was hurting me. I, this was 10 years ago or so. And did an MRI and it came back a possible impingement due to a narrowing of the subacromial space. So if I somehow re-injure my right shoulder, most likely in the fall I did while skiing a couple months ago, it could very well be that every single thing that is strengthened by spinning a ball this way and spinning a ball that way had absolutely nothing to do with the root cause of why I have pain. So I'm gonna to continue to explore this. I actually saw a physician's assistant today and she told me, well, you can do some movement, so let's wait two months and see if you still have pain before we look into physiotherapy. So as far as the shoulder reliever, I give it a thumbs up, not because it worked for me, but because they honored their word and they gave me their money back. So your shoulder's hurting, give the shoulder reliever a try. It just might work for you. Didn't work for me. But anyway, have a great day. See you on the next video.